Congress and government you'll be able to put in uh, the diet challenge you want? Definitely we are out for it and we've set standards. We're going to make sure these standards are achieved in the best possible time. Thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, I am Teres Drami. Teres Drami. What do you see there? This means you have this is the personnel management office yeah. under the office of the president. <coughs> Once again, what do you think his name is? Sebu Yai. Sebu Yai. Sebu Yai. Sebu Yai. Therese Drame. What are your telephone numbers? In my office? Uh, we are talking to you in place of the Family Secretary Ministry of uh, sorry, the Personal, personal, management. personal management. management Office. Office. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we are members of the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council. Okay. He is the Vice Chairman of this council and I'm a member of the council. Okay. Here we are out to tell or inform all government departments okay. and ministries of what we want to be done. Okay. What we want to be done is that all departments and ministries of government should ensure that there is maximum discipline as necessary. Okay. Because without discipline, nothing can be done properly. We are trying to emphasize this because any error that comes in any activity whatsoever, in any function whatsoever, it is because of ill discipline. So we are waging a war against ill discipline in short. But this war, we are looking at certain points. One is punctuality of all public workers. Two is the control of personnel in public departments and ministries. And three is the control of the nation's resources that is either material or otherwise. But I think uh, the Vice Chairman will go into detail as to what actually the ruling council wants. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, Deputy Secretary. Good afternoon. And the staff of the Management Office of the President. Okay. Actually, as we have just rightly mentioned, we are out to sort things out in the right way we are supposed to be sorted out, which were neglected in the previous government. But now that's not our problem. Since they are out, we are out, we are in to sort things out. But now you've been the permanent secretary. The personal office is directly under your control and the entire staff of this place. As he said, discipline comes in two folds. One, you the leader have to be disciplined. I'm sorry if we go across, but that's the way we put it sometimes. But I'm sorry, we are not out to insult anybody, anybody. please. Fine. And the subject being ruled has to be disciplined again. So at least it's a reciprocal give and take. But the moment he, he or she sees that, yes, my permanent secretary is like this and he's taken forward, automatically he or she has to be on that track with you. Otherwise, things will start to fall apart. And we have no room for things to fall apart in this system as the present government. Yes. And the personnel, can you put that from place? Office, you should be the people who are able to manage the personnel of all the departments. Because at one time, I was in here and I asked for a friend and they said, we are for staff checking out to the provinces and the schools. So the same thing continues. From there you pick up, it's a problem with the permanent secretary. You make sure that we have the correct staff in any place of job where he or she is supposed to be. And not inflating the number of people in a, in a school, for example, to say I have this number of teachers or this number of caretakers, when you go on the ground, you only have one person to be answering in the name of four or five personnel. That's destructive, not constructive. So it's so good to update your records, because we may be popping in here from time to time to find out on ourselves, physically, what is going on within this office and in relation to the outside schools or whichever department you are 
man handling. You come to the vehicle aspect of it. May I ask you a question? Do you have vehicles under the PMO? PMO. You got many vehicles, yes. I mean? Yes, we have four. We have four. And who are controlling these vehicles? Permanent secretaries. They are according to permanent secretaries. Well, he is controlling them. He is controlling them. Yes. Now, by what that I mean, are they allocated to the permanent secretaries physically? In or the sense that uh -huh. he is the head of the institution. Okay. So the vehicles are under him and he deploys them as he feels necessary. Okay. Now, the vehicle control mm -hmm. comes up. Okay. Any government vehicle should back by sharp half past four in the evening. There's no point in vehicles running around up and down the town in and out streets after okay working, working hours. Okay. However, mm -hmm. there is going to be a modality which we're going to work out. Okay. So all ministries, because not all ministries work in the same way. That beyond half past four, if your vehicle is supposed to be subject to a certain job, there will be a kit given to the driver, signed by you and the driver puts the kit and goes out for his job. Okay. In the street, it's better with the guards, it's only to show out the kid that I'm on this mission and it's free to go around. Otherwise, if that doesn't happen, we are not dealing with that driver as an individual, but you, the common secretary, is a problem. And that is the defect from now. Sorry. From today. Sorry. It's not going to be easy to I submit to yourself to that case. But I have to have. I have to know where the vehicles are. Yes, you have to. Because I, I, I cannot say where they are really. I hold none, I use none, but I make sure that I abide. No, but I'm not understanding that person, that you don't know where are the vehicles. It, it will be very funny for me. Because I don't, I don't know. Somehow, I have well, not The vehicle I was using was yes. taken because we are yes. the I don't know. Okay, what, 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 what I am afraid of is, uh -huh. If you say that it's my responsibility and they're going to deal with me right now, yes. if I don't know where the vehicle is right now and it's going to closing time, then I am in trouble. Already you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I help you? Okay, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let me help you. Uh, now, you have to find somebody to directly control those vehicles. But in our department, they call it the transport foreman, yes. who gives the keys to all the drivers wherever they are going to, and they give him the vehicle, the vehicle keys as soon as they come in. Okay. There, and then you don't have any problem to do. Right. If you see any vehicle outside and they say, this vehicle to PMO, okay. and it's out, okay. I'll get, get him by the neck, foreman. and you are but free. What I'm reading here, <laughs> I think, Mr. Vice, uh, yeah. yes, you are you not getting me right. Okay. What I am I'm saying, sorry. give us a time. time to know where the vehicles are. Ah, okay. Then it will be only fair that from that time on um, we are held responsible. But if you do it right now, you will cut our necks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you give us up to tomorrow, okay. then the, 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 the thing will become effective tomorrow. Okay, you have today for you. Can I throw some light on that? Because um, um, two, two, of, two of our vehicles are right now under custody. Well, um, I think one of them has been used right now. Uh, we do see it. the other one was parked at Denton Bridge. Now I think it's at Yundu, 1254. GG 1254. And then an other land cruiser which we usually use for. 1254 is what type of vehicle? 505. It's the long one. And, and what I, is the land cruiser? It's 1880, but I, I've seen that the number has been removed from the, the number plate. Has, but we recognize the vehicle. There are only two. It's GG also. It's GG, yes. yes. You know, we go for staff land inspections, cruiser. yes. And uh, those are the vehicles we use to inspect this um, staff. So, what is the thing? They are not yeah. back? No, they are not returned to us up to now. Okay. Yeah. We try to trace them out. As soon as we trace them out, yes. sorry, we'll get them. Okay. So, so, you know, we love people. Apart from these two people, all other people are in their park here. Yes. Yes. They are here. Okay. Okay. It means you know where the people are. At least two are here right now. Okay. Yes. So, yes. so yes. now the rule goes into effect. <laughs> Those that are here have to abide by the rules. Just for the two. Yes. Now, please, you have agreed on the two, two for tomorrow. No, but we've solved this problem. Okay. You know, two are away. Her line is not that good, so you can use my line just in case. Because, because you, you have the staff, it's the same one. Okay. 
What's the name of this? I'm Kaliba My number is 227-224. Start down your system. Okay. Say you're going to set up for the government, for the nation, as like. Stop us, put us to the right thing, and we work for the betterment of the country. But we don't have to leave us to get into the deep, then you try to pull us out. It doesn't help. But you will be responsible then for another part of mismanagement. Okay, I think that... ...into our government as a whole. Because now we have to work as a team. Incidentally, as vice chairman of this um, government, you are also our minister. Because this is the responsibility of the vice chairman. PMO is directly under the vice chairman. I am glad that you have come. Because we were wondering why we were not part of the show. And um, if you did not come, the intention was to go when the because we had the announcement that people should report on Wednesday, we would have come anyway to say that we are part of the PMO and that you are our minister. We, all I ask is where can I reach you when we need to reach you? Is it the same number that is in the office there or you give us a number or give us access? Because you are inviting us to talk to you. But for us to do that, we need to know where. Okay, first time the AG lines I already I've been mm -hmm. using this other. You've been coming here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Madam Deputy Permanent Secretary, I know there were some constraints at the past. Now, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. 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 Thank you this present government, all that we plan to do is to work hand in glove with them. The objectives are laudable. They are talking about accountability. They are talking about discipline. They are talking about better ways of managing. And I think in this office, this is also our objective. If we had constrained doing it in the past, we are going to make sure that those constraints are addressed. Especially when the vice chairman has now opened his doors, consultation, and is willing to work to iron out any difficulties that we have. And since we are responsible, especially for discipline in this service, we are just going to enforce what was already there in the statute books. The GO is clear about this. The PSC regulation is clear about this. All we need to do is really make sure that this is enforced. We're going to do it. Thank you very much. I'm sure you like the change of the government. I do. Yes. Thank you very much. What numbers do you have? I have my numbers. Two.